Once upon a time in the village of Enkem, there lived a kind and beautiful young woman named Kioma. Everyone in the village admired her for her goodness and her pretty face. Many men wanted to marry her, but Kioma's heart belonged to Ikena, a farmer known for his good nature and his friendly smile. One sunny day, Chioma and Ikena got married. It was a big celebration, and all the villagers came to join in the happiness. They danced and sang under the bright moon, celebrating the love between Chioma and Ikena. It was a joyful day, filled with laughter and music, as they began their journey together as husband and wife. In the early days of their marriage, Chioma and Ikena were deeply in love. They worked side by side in the fields, tending to their crops and caring for their small home. But as time passed, Ikena's ambitions grew, and he longed for a life of luxury and wealth. One day, Ikena made a promise to Chioma. He vowed to provide her with everything her heart desired, no matter the cost. Chioma, unaware of the consequences of his words, smiled and embraced her husband, grateful for his love and devotion. As Ikena toiled in the fields, his best friend named Kwame returns from city. Ikena very happy and surprised to meet Kwame. Ikena feels very happy and also surprised because his friend has become very rich. He takes his friend to his house and introduces him to his wife, Chioma. His friend is amazed when he sees Chioma's beauty. He compliments Chioma a lot. Then, his friend returns home. But even after coming home, he keeps thinking about Chioma. He finds excuses to visit Chioma and Ikena. He takes very expensive gifts for Kioma and Ikena. Kioma doesn't want to accept these gifts, but Ikena forces her to take them. So she keeps the gifts, but Kioma doesn't know that she will have to pay a heavy price for these gifts. On the other hand, Ikena also stops working and starts spending all day with his rich friend, wanting to live a lifestyle like his. One day, Kwame tells Ikena that he will give him a lot of money if he allows his wife to sleep with him for one night. Ikena is very surprised to hear this because he loves Chioma very much. But, tempted by the promise of more money and quick wealth, he agrees. Ikena is on his way back home, thinking about how to tell his wife about Kwame's proposal, that he wants to spend a night with her. Ikena's eyes are only dazzled by the sparkle of money. He wants to be rich at any cost, even if it means sacrificing his wife. Now, he starts to distance himself from his wife and argues with her over everything. Seeing this change in Ikena, his wife becomes very worried. One day, Ikena gathers the courage to tell his wife that she will have to spend a night with his friend in exchange for a lot of money, which would improve their situation and make them rich. Upon hearing this, his wife is shocked and tells him that she loves him very much and can't think of anyone else but him. Upon hearing this, Ikena gets angry and an argument starts between them. Just then, Kwame arrives at their house. Seeing Kwame at their home, Ikena's wife behaves rudely towards him and asks him to leave. Kwame leaves the house. Seeing this, Ikena gets very angry and starts beating his wife. Now, the love between the husband and wife was fading, and arguments had become a daily routine for them. Ikena wanted to force his wife so much to agree to sleep with his friend that she would become willing. On the other hand, Kwame's desire and persistence were increasing, and he was urging Ikena to quickly convince his wife. One day, Ikena came home and started talking to his wife with great affection. His wife was very surprised to see this change in his behavior. Ikena apologized to her, but his wife didn't know what was behind this apology. Ikena wanted to rebuild trust with his wife, and after a few days, he succeeded in doing so. Finally, the day arrived. Ikena secretly put a sedative in his wife's food, and when she fell into a deep sleep, he called Kwame to his house and sent him to his bedroom. 
Kwame spent the whole night with Ikenna's wife, fulfilling his desires. When Ikenna's wife woke up in the morning, she found Kwame in her bed. She was shattered from within because the person she loved the most in the world had betrayed her. She began to hate herself for ever loving someone who didn't care about her at all. Kwame was very happy with Ikenna. On the other hand, Ikenna's wife was burning in the fire of revenge. She wanted to take revenge on her husband in any way possible. She left home and reached Kwame's house, telling him that she was ready to sleep with him and would provide him with the peace he couldn't attain in a drugged state with her. Kwame was surprised to hear this and asked her what she wanted in return. Ikenna's wife replied that she only wanted what he had promised to give to her husband. She just wanted to take revenge on her husband. Kwame agreed, and that's exactly what happened. When Ikenna came to collect the money, he was shocked to see his wife there. He started asking for the money, but little did he know that the deal had changed. Kwame had given all the money to his wife. Ikenna fell silent after seeing all this, realizing that he no longer had any money or a wife. He had given everything away in the greed for money. His wife's love had turned into hatred. In her final words to Ikenna, she said that if he only wanted to earn money and fulfill his desires, then why did he get married? In his greed, Ikenna destroyed his own home. The big lesson from this story is that wanting too much stuff and not caring about others can cause big problems. Ikenna wanted to be rich and live a fancy life, so he forgot about loving his wife. The story teaches us that being greedy can ruin our lives and hurt the people we love.